The views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of the Association for Software Testing, its management, sponsors, or staff. folks our next guest is erica walker and uh i'm gonna give a small little bio about erica to give you some context erica works for salesforce she is actually a co-worker of mine she gave a talk today on becoming a more technical tester so we asked her in tonight because you didn't get to see it on live stream so we're gonna cover some of that tonight welcome erica thank you awesome How'd so, your talk go today yeah how did it go it was good yeah it was yeah. good yeah it was um, my first professional talk at a conference i've done other talks and other things but um this is the first of this nature so i was awesome good what was your favorite part my favorite part um was actually hearing people before the talk saying that they were excited about coming to my talk the topic yeah they were excited about the topic and i was like awesome okay good this is gonna work that's kind of when it clicked for me so and when i when i saw your original proposal i was like yes this is exactly <laughs> what is needed. This is an awesome topic. So I'm hoping we can capture at least a little bit of it. Right. Now, I know you had 50 minutes, and we're going to only get 15. So we'll see how far we can get. But um, is it fair to assume that if people contact you via Twitter, that is a reasonable way to reach you? Yeah, Or is absolutely. there a better way? Um, Twitter um, or my email. It's um, Erica, E-R-I-C-A, walk, W-A-L-K, at gmail.com. So Excellent. either way is perfect. So you- with, if you've got questions or you want more information, Erica will field them. So what made you decide to become more technical? Because one of the things you told me is y- you weren't, and then you decided that this was something that was important to you. Yeah. Um, I think more than anything was being surrounded by coworkers who were far more technical than I was and talking with them and seeing how and they used the testing either in API. Um, I already had, had some database background myself, but just getting API and using the console kind of blew my mind how much you could see um, that you couldn't normally see just in the UI. So I think just networking with coworkers. Now, you're doing mostly web testing, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, web development. Okay. So you're talking, you're, when you're talking console, are you talking in a browser? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. So what what was the toughest thing along the way that you had to overcome to become more technical? Yeah, I, I think the toughest thing for me was um, kind of slowing down and just recognizing that, okay, I can get this. Even if someone is talking to me about a topic that's foreign, it doesn't mean that I can't get at least some part of it. And each time I talk to that person or I talk to someone about it, I can get a little bit more. And then suddenly I'm having a real conversation about something I couldn't have just a few weeks ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to someone who's, and this has happened before, and and I've interacted with people who struggle with this, They're in meetings, what have you, and people are talking about technical terms or phrases that just don't make any sense. And it can be very daunting for someone. Did you experience that? If you did, how how would you suggest someone would address that? Absolutely. Um, So as I first started getting into um, the technical field, I was just sort of, I mean, deer in the headlights. and <laughs> and it was sort of like, wow, what am I doing here? Um, why am I here sort of thing, which is um, a topic that I did go over during my talk, which is called impostorship. And it's the idea that, um, that you shouldn't necessarily be here. This is a thought you have inside and you have a fear that somebody's gonna find you out um, for that thing. Um, I then found people in the industry where I was working who I could trust and then I, expose the fact that I didn't know these things and I felt uncomfortable to them and I said I don't know what this means and they said oh sure I'll help you and then I had an understanding of one technical term and then I I was like wow that blew my mind how much I could get out of a meeting just with one term and then I just gained more and more and then I started feeling more comfortable in the meetings with the people I was with and I just started bringing it up within the meetings itself so I, I I understand that some meetings you may not want to expose those things. Talk to someone outside, talk to them afterwards, or talk to them 
just on a separate thread where it's just the two of you talking or the three of you talking and have a real discussion about it. What was the time span that you're working on this? Are we talking weeks, months, years? Yeah. Um, so I kind of fell into the technical field and, um, I thought I was going to start off being a tester, but I was actually started off being a test manager, <laughs> which was sort of a surprise. So that um, does sound like a surprise. It was. It was I would have negotiated a little differently, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother topic. Um, so I started off and I was, I was doing a test manager for about a year and a half. And it wasn't until I came to Salesforce that I was really doing testing and really getting into, you know, the down and dirty testing. I did some testing before, um, but not like I do currently. So it's probably been over the last two years that I've gained the knowledge that I have to be able to do a talk. And um, I said, I thought, you know, if it's taken me this time to build up these relationships to get this information, I'm going to try to see if I can share what I've learned from over that time um, with other people to maybe shorten the time it takes for them to get into it. So what tools or skills do you think that you either use personally every day or even a little bit more importantly, do you think that an, a tester who's interested in embarking on this adventure, like, yeah, where, where do, they would where do you start? start? Where do you start? Um, well, in the context of web testing, in the context right. of web testing, um, try to find someone who's doing what you do or is doing something similar to what you want to do. So if it's in testing, try to reach out to somebody either in person um, or online or in a forum just to find out more about it. There are quite a few forums um, online that have information. If you just Google it, how do I get into testing? You can kind of get an idea behind what people, the steps that they've taken to get into it. Um, but and, yeah. and when you say forum, can you give me a specific example? Um, what do you mean? Uh, you know, forum can mean a lot of different things. It could. I'm, I'm thinking of one in particular that I liked, um, but I can't remember the name of it uh, for sure, but I'll have to comment on what it was when I find it. It was as I was researching this talk that really made a difference. I was like, oh man, I wish I would have found this one earlier. Is it in your slide deck for your talk? It's not. No, okay. it, it, it didn't end up making it to the slide deck, but it's sort of the idea of it was kind of like molding what I did for okay. for my talk, but I'll try to find that later, but I can't remember what it was in particular, but excellent. You know. So are there any specific like tools or, or things that you think are useful though? For uh, for instance, like yeah. I started in a different job last fall and for the first time I was actually allowed database access for the first time ever in, you know, over 10 years now. I couldn't write a SQL query. I've never had to write one. I've seen people write them. And so the first thing I did was like, I need a SQL tutorial like right now because I have this database and a system with no UI. What do I do? You know, so are there basic things like you should know SQL that you think are useful for yeah. people who are looking for that place of like where it's intimidating and emotional. So where do you, what do you think are easy entry points maybe? Yeah. Um, as a part of my talk, I talked about not, don't forget what you already do know and take that information. So it sounds like in your situation, you had a problem, you had something you needed to solve for. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, because if you have something you need to solve for, you can really take the steps towards that. So take your problem. Um, I would get on w3schools.com. Mm -hmm. A lot of good information there. They have one specifically on intro to, to um, SQL to SQL. Take that take that site and then grab someone who knows SQL and say, this is my problem. This is what I want to do. Um, I'll, you know, I'll buy you dinner. Like, <laughs> right. here's, here's what I need to do. How can you help me get started? It also depends on what type of learner you are. You may just look at the website and figure it out and be okay. Me, I like to talk to people and be able mm -hmm. to interact with it. So that's the next part is bring someone in who knows what's going on. And I think all of, mo is it all? I would say the vast majority of technical skills I've gained is because I had a problem. And I had, and had to, to figure out a to way overcome to overcome the with problem. It. Yes. And the, the, the times where I specifically tried to seek out knowledge about something in an abstract way where I didn't have an application for it, I was just going to do it for funsies, I didn't remember it. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, I think that that's a great tip is you really, you almost have to be in the heat of the moment where you're like, listen, I have got to find this in the database today. <laughs> right. and I need to know how to do it. And oh, by the way, I should probably do some other things while we're at it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how do you, how do you, beyond giving talks at a, at a conference like this, how do you s inspire others and how do you suggest 
let's say someone else who might be technical that's gone through this journey to inspire others to do the same yeah um so i try to surround myself with people who are encouraging and people who have some of the skills and knowledge that i may not have but want to have and um another thing that i um started with uh, my friend Lindsay and my friend um, uh, Virginie is something called Girl Develop It in Indianapolis and it is a uh, women's development group Um, and we started that our launch party was November of last year and during that launch party I admitted to over a hundred people that I am not a developer but I'm on this journey with them and I want to learn with them how to develop um, or just gain different skills, gain more technical skills with doing that. And I had many people come up to me after I gave that um, presentation saying, I don't know how to develop either. And I haven't heard anybody admit that Wow. At, for a development group. And, I and said, you were leading the group. And I'm leading the group. So That's I do things fantastic. a little backwards sometimes. You but have so it's, far uh, done everything backwards. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> But yeah, but now I have an accountability for it and I will be more likely to gain coding skills because right. I've told everyone I need that. Yeah, that's really that. bold yeah. to get out there and do that. <laughs> yeah. The pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are there things that you would advise people or steer people away from while taking a journey like this that maybe you had started in and then had to back up and go, no, 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 no. this is either too soon or this isn't something I need? Yeah, there are many different coding languages you can get into, and there are many different practices you can get in for testing. Um, Really just research what you think you might want to get into. Talk to people who are in those different areas and ask Mm -hmm. them why they're doing what they do. And if something clicks with you, follow that. Mm -hmm. Dig deeper into what that is. Um, That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, I would say that any gain, any knowledge, any any seeking is going to give you something, but you may be able to be, I guess, more direct to your goal if you research it ahead of time and really talk to different people about it. So you talked a little bit about where you find things, how you learn them. Um, you talked a little bit about learning under pressure, basically. Yeah, right? Are there things that you're working on now to further extend your technical capabilities? Absolutely. Um, I, <laughs> I always joke that I like to find cool people and that, um, and that they're now my friends. And, and so yet you <laughs> hang out with Ben. Well, I, they're not all hits, so. <laughs> he, he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, sh- wait, what are you saying, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but my, my next step is that I would like to get into some automated checking or automated testing, however you, mm-hmm. you look at it. Um, uh, that's, that's the next thing for me and to see how I can kind of mold that with exploratory testing, um, just to kind of see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of determining which language I'd like to go into. I think it's going to be Ruby. I'm not exactly sure, but that's probably the direction I'm going into. We also have um, a Ruby group in Indianapolis up for Meetup, so I have resources there I can talk to as well. Um, and that's also, um, there are many people at work who are also using Ruby. So in some ways it's, um, you know, talking to people about, you know, what is, what is, um, you know, what's a good language to get into if I mm-hmm. want to get into that and that, that it's repeatedly coming up and then um, people saying, well, that's what I'm already doing. Mm-hmm. So, um, ease of path. That's, yep. you know, that's probably and just about go. time you learn something new, then it changes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now we're using <laughs> language insert term here. Yes. <laughs> just kind of fun. So what's something that you have taught yourself or that you've learned along the way that you think is absolutely vital to your job today that you couldn't have lived without? Wow. Um, something I've learned along the way is um, just the ability to be um, vulnerable and be okay with that and knowing that for the most part, people want to help you, mm-hmm. that they're rooting for you, that they want good for you. And that every once in a while, you'll, you'll find someone who isn't, but you'll see them. Mm-hmm. They, they stand out. They stick out. Um, and, and that's been the most critical thing is that it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to show that you don't know something. That's the first step. And what's something attainable for someone to start with? If they wanted to, you know, is there a tool? Is there, you know, is there a programming language? Something that you would suggest as kind of that first toe in the water? Um, 
if you open your browser, open your console um, on a PC, it's F12. Um, you know, with Chrome, it's um, Developer Tools. Um, with Firefox, it's Firebug. Um, just open those up. Uh, it's a free. It's free. It's already on there. You just may not have known about it in the first place. Um, for API testing, I've been using Postman. It's an extension for Chrome. Um, just check it out. Take a look. They have some resources you can learn from. Lots of forums as well. Um, they're well-supported um, places. So those are, I guess, within the browser that are free that I would suggest starting with. Um, if you're doing SQL, um, on addition to W3 schools, also take a look at SQL Fiddle because you mm -hmm. can just use that, um, build out a database based on the steps that they have um, in W3 schools, and then you can run queries against that too. Any final tips or advice for someone who wants to set off in this journey? Um, keep going. If it seems slow and you're getting frustrated, switch to something else, um, but keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, table it, write it down, have a list of goals that you want to get to, or have someone help you um, define what you want to do. But keep going and then learn how to talk the talk, learn the language so that you can search and you can research what you may want to get into. Cool. Anything else? I think that's great. Well, are thank you for joining us. Are you going to be playing me. ukulele in the reception next oh, door? Right. Oh, I have it. I have oh. my ukulele. Um, it's been in the room the whole time, but I can oh bring it down. Oh, my goodness. You're going to have to bring that downstairs. We want to hear that later. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so guys. much.